Omar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global, joined by Robbie Davis, Judy and his own town. Great performance. Happy with it? Yeah, it is what it is. Um, I wasn't broadcasting to everyone, I was fighting some superstar. I was just telling them it is what it is. It's a over fighting. These take over fights when you're at my level, you've got to be professional about it and make sure you get a job done. And I felt that's what I was on tonight. Right, uh, we saw Lewis Richardson in action tonight as well. He got a stoppage win too. He came out here, you, your chain, you were right next to each other, you had a bit of an altercation, what was actually said? Yeah, not on the team, I heard him outside, obviously the mic's loud and I could hear him a bit of trash talk saying he's going to smash me and things like that, but obviously as he was walking through I had my own fight to think of so I didn't really want to get into a spat, but then I was staring at him and he was staring back and then our coach just started having a bit and I wasn't having someone speak to me coach like that, everyone that knows me in boxing knows how close I am to Dave, so then I just lit up then. I was just what did he say to your coach? I don't know, I told them to fuck off or something like that, and said Shh, something like that, but it just made me rage and I said, who are you talking to, you belt, uh, you've been, you just knocked out a super featherweight, so let's not make out his fight with something as it wasn't because he had a title on the line. We spoke to that Polish kid just before the fight and went, are you going to win tonight? And he went, uh, you know what I mean? So I was like, Jesus Christ, he's not even up for it, he's just here for his payday, but I'm, I'm just, I'm not one of these people that start like, he's got a lot of followers on social media, so anything he says, all the Geordies jump on it. I'm not messing, I've seen him in the dinner hall in, a, in our hotel. Every time I looked at him, he looked away. He's an absolute melt, he's got no backbone. Where I'm, I'm, I am what you get. If you, if you say something to me, I'll, I'll put it on you. And he, he just didn't fancy it. And when it was all on TV, where everyone's watching, and he knows nothing can happen, his mouth wouldn't stop moving. Do you expect that fight to happen next? I'm, I'm not going to let him get into a spat with me and build a fight off that. For him to get a fight with me, you got to remember, there's five, six other top British kids there's kids from America calling me out now who I don't even know of, or writing all over me social media. So everyone wants a piece of me, everyone wants the champ, and that's where I am, I'm outside the world title fights. So everyone wants to take my slot just before I get there. So the only way that fight can get made is if it makes sense to me and my team. I don't care about everything else, like, I'm not one of these famous on social media talking shit all the time. I just have a laugh on it and broadcast my fights the way and when they are and let everyone know and have a laugh with everyone. All he talks about is fucking Newcastle United, like he's on the fucking, like he's on the stop on the on the board meet, on the board meeting. So, but Eddie's just said to me that he's going to make an offer, and if it makes sense to us, then we'll take it. No problem. I think he, his last fight there was a super featherweight. The Argentinian before that was like a part-time bus driver or something. So he hasn't fought no one to even be eligible to be in the top ten, or to, I think he's top fifteen with the WBA. He's fought absolutely no one. And they're just building it up to make him out, he's something he's not. Let's not forget, some of them lightweights that he blew away could have been super featherweights. Then he fought one top lightweight, who happens to be a friend of mine, Patera. Yeah, yeah. He schooled him. And uh, how we got a split decision, I don't know, we got smashed. He needs to start doing his sit-ups, he can't take a body shot. Oh. <laughs> All right, Robbie Davis, Junior. Well done tonight. Yeah, thank Hopefully, you. we do see that fight next. But listen, yeah, you're you're not. Uh, I'm not. Your career doesn't depend on Lewis Richardson. No, so, yeah. he needs me. Let, let me make sure everyone remembers that Lewis needs me. Same with five, six other fighters. They all need me. I don't need them. I know. I know the crowd want it, and I would love to punch his head in. No problem. But at the stage of my career, I'm looking forward, and he's behind me. So it's got to make sense. All right, cheers, mate. Thank you. All right.